Hey everyone, Sinister of the Gamer section bringing you another review. And today's game I'm covering is Sword and Fairy Together Forever for the PlayStation 5. This game is also available on the PlayStation 4. The visuals look amazing on the PS5 and the game runs at a silky smooth 60 frames per second in performance mode. The characters themselves look great and you can see the details in their outfits. The environments also look great with the fires from the demon world to the grass and greenery of the forest. Some of the areas have reflections on them as you walk by. The developers did an awesome job bringing this game to life and the graphics continue to look cool in the cutscenes. You can tell the devs took inspiration from several sources like the Wu-Tang films, Journey to the West and Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. The cutscenes and voice acting make it look like a movie that the Shaw Brothers will be proud of. When you're in the open world, you have a mini HUD and a mini map, which are well placed and have easy access. There are some areas that will reveal hidden text progressing the plot on what's going on. When you start the game, you have three difficulties to choose from, easy, normal, and hard. For the casual, easy is right up your alley, and for those who want a real challenge, will choose hard. The controls are responsive when moving your character, and you have the camera which you can use with the analog stick. You have your normal attack buttons along with your jump buttons to get you through the world. You attack enemies hack and slash style chaining combos together. Defeating them nets you experience which you will need to when you get to harder to reach areas. There are bosses to defeat in different areas when you get to the end. Quick time events happen when you reach certain spots and you have to be ready for them or it's game over. Also when you're not in combat you can talk to NPCs and some will give you missions whether it's the main mission or a side mission. Both are highlighted on your map and shops are nice where you can buy the necessary items that you need for your quest. The only issue I found in this game was during the cutscene where the dialogue didn't match what the characters were saying. I patch will remedy this, but it doesn't hurt the game experience overall. I give Sword and Fairy Together Forever a 5 out of 5. Thank you for watching. Be sure to drop us a like and follow us at the gamer section.